Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is Wednesday, March 6, 2024. I want to thank all of you for joining me and welcome to all the new subscribers. Heavy snow going on there, high winds at Yellowstone National Park. I noticed that um, it's a little dirty, it's hard to tell, but along the... Um, river here, the Firestone River. Every so often we have some dark steam. There's currently an earthquake swarm going on there at Yellowstone too. Let me show you. This earthquake swarm at Yellowstone for the last 24 hours, there has been 18 earthquakes. They got them all listed as West Yellowstone and you know the magnitude that they have posted is not right. Uh, the largest being a 1.2 and well let me click on that so you can see where it's at and then there was a magnitude supposedly um uh, there it is a 1.3 i don't have all the earthquakes posted on here but this is the location using google earth where they are happening here you can see the monitor for holmes hill and let's see we got Maple Creek. I want to show you that too. And then the monitor for Denny Creek. Let's see. There's Madison River. Oh, over here. Nope, that's Maple Creek. Hold on. All right, over here by Hedgen Lake. So we got Denny Creek. I'm going to show you that. We got Holmes Hill, Maple Creek, and I added in Mary Lake. Let's see. That one is down over here. So up here by Holmes Hill, this is where the current earthquake swarm is going on. This is all basically the Madison River area. On the far left is Denny Creek. Yeah, look at the activity that's been showing up in the last couple hours. Next to that is Holmes Hill. Then we got Maple Creek. And then Mary Lake. I'm going to make Denny Creek um, the largest. We're going to start with that. Going to the stream view, this is what I noticed first. And I first thought maybe it was screaming. This is also the area for, oh, what, a while now. We've been having um, the screw wave, the Tortellinos. So this is what it's showing. And it looks like. Right about here is when it started acting up. Something happened. That would have been about 2.54 a.m. Um, today. And then we all of a sudden started getting this. And that was at 13.19 Universal. That would have been at 6.19 a.m. There at the park. Yeah, look at the magma coming in. Just woof. Okay, and then it settled down for a little bit. And then, let's see, at 1721, it started up again, Universal. So that would have been at 1050 a.m. today. I don't, yeah, and they've got some more here. Um, 1022 a.m. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to go to the seismic signature. Yeah, you can see the ground is popping. Um, looks like it came from the south of this direction, which is Denny Creek. And then we got some more. Where is it? Hard to find it. Hold on. At 1151, it really kicked in. Look at that. Let me go to the spectrogram. It's like, wow. I've talked about this area because of the, uh, Turlinos that have been going on here. And they're still going on. Let me... Bring this over so you can see all this. And I'll come down. Now this is um, 1954. This would have been at 12.54 p.m. local time. Yeah, look at that. It's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, very concerning. Okay. This all through here is the Tarlinos. This is showing that stress has built up between the water and the gases. Um, this is often a signature that it's gearing up um, for another 
um, eruption. I am expecting an earthquake within 18 months and I don't know if they changed the machine or whatever but this is where it changed. Very concerning. Again this is Denny Creek which is down here by the um, west entrance right there. Um, the monitor that I have been using for the west entrance that one stopped working. Yeah, I did have it on there, but it stopped working um, within the last maybe 12 hours. And the boreholes also that I was using, they're still not working. Here we have Maple Creek, and you can see lots of earthquakes. Yeah, lots of them. The most recent would be this one when I pulled the files. That's a slow-moving tremor. Okay. Um, and then we got this one. Let's see. Let's take a look at the spectrogram right there. That comes in as at least a magnitude 2.24. The last earthquake they are reporting is at 1850 Universal Time. Um, 6.3 kilometers in depth or 3.9 miles. That would be in the upper magma chamber. A lot of these, most of these, are in the upper magma chamber that they are reporting. But the last one was at 1850, which would be this one right here. They're not reporting this one or the other ones. And they're saying that's a magnitude 1.2, but I get a magnitude 1.89. The next one, which would be this one right here, Okay, we got a long P wave on it. That very well could have been over by uh, Stanley, Idaho, uh, wherever. Somewhere over there by uh, the Snake River Plateau. That one is not being reported. That comes in as a magnitude 2.12. Uh, let's see, the next one. Looks like we got two of them here. Let's look at the seismic signature. Could be Stanley, Idaho also. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I would say it's Stanley, Idaho, somewhere over there where they've been having the uh, other earthquakes. That comes in as a magnitude 2.03. And then we got this one right here. Oops, went off the line. Okay. That one comes in as a magnitude 2.46. Let's look at the seismic signature. See, these are all fault movement. Yeah, sharpened points, sharp um, fault movements. This earthquake at 8.05 Universal, they're saying is a magnitude 0 0.2, but it actually comes in as a 1.62. And again, yeah, fault movement. Okay. This earthquake at 9.02, they're saying is a magnitude 0 0.3. It's actually a 1.64. The next one at 9.03, they're saying is a magnitude 0 0.3. Actually comes in as a 1.77. Another one they're saying is a magnitude 0 0.2. It actually comes in as a 1.60. They are lion, lion, lion. Yep, if pigs could fly. At 1552, they're saying this is a 1.3. It comes in at least as a magnitude 1.88. These earthquakes at 1600 um, and 1630 seconds, they're not even reporting. This one here, they are reporting. At 16.02, no, excuse me, they're not reporting it. They are reporting one at 16.03. That would be that one right there. They're saying there's two earthquakes within that time frame. You can only see one as a magnitude 0 0.1 and a 0 0.2. But I got a magnitude 1.70. Yeah, should I show you more of the lies? Let's see, 16.04. They're saying that's a magnitude 0 0.3, but it's a 1.32. And I could go on and on. Yeah. So again, this is Maple Creek. 
at 1.44 a.m., we got magma intrusion, harmonic tremors. Let's take a look at this. Let me pull it over through here. Let me go back to the seismic signature. Yeah, and then some fault movement. Let me try and make that bigger for you. Yeah, harmonic tremors. Okay. So this here is Holmes Hill, uh, closest to that area. Look at that. Look how close that is to the surface. Talked about how they got um, gases and waters under compression. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Slow moving tremors. Let's try and pull some of this. Yeah, not good. So the earthquakes they are reporting are at the um, upper part of the magma chamber. Yeah. Look at that one. Wow. Okay, let's just jump around here. Got a small quake there. See, that's, that's upper. You know, they could have a hydrothermal eruption. See how high that is? And let me go to the seismic signature on this one. Yeah. Yeah, slow moving tremors. Okay. I just want to jump around, take a look. Look how close to the surface that is. Okay. And oops. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Okay. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files just a little while ago. Okay, we'll pull it over. Some are deep, some are shallower. Yeah, and this goes all the way down to the end. Right there. And then here we have Mary Lake when those earthquakes were occurring. I talked about Mary Lake, how it does show the magma sloshing around. This is those last two earthquakes. And we'll pull it over to the end where I pulled the files, which would be right there. But you can see here, yeah, and we got lots of little quakes, lots of little quakes. See, that's not shallow. That's probably in the upper magma chamber. There's lots of them here. Look at that. We'll bring it over. This is during that swarm that was showing up on the other uh, monitor. Look at that. Yeah, Mary Lake picked it up. All right, here's Holmes Hill during that time frame. Maybe it wasn't there. Uh, maybe it was over there at Mary Lake. Again, this is Mary Lake. Yeah, okay. Almost. Looks like Torlinos. Almost. Yeah, let me make that bigger. Yeah, see, that's that's harmonic tremors. That's magma on the move. Yeah, let me take a look at that one. Let me take a look at some of these other ones. Yeah, it's going small on me, isn't it? Okay. See, that looks like a Torlino. That does too. Very concerning if we start seeing Torlinos in other locations there at Yellowstone. Yeah, something else I'm going to have to keep an eye on. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Again, this is Denny Creek. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Oops, went off the line. Um, always be prepared for any type of disaster. Yeah, please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.